Hey, Phil White here again. Uh, this time I'm going to talk to you all about finding local GIS data. Um, specifically things in Colorado uh, or locally here in our Front Range area. Um, but the same kind of ideas here apply to other areas. So uh, we're talking local Colorado and then kind of also just localized data in scope in general. So. Um, first of all, on the Geospatial Data Guide page, there's a local tab. Um, and I'll start off by showing you all the, uh, the Geo Library. So Colorado Geo Library is the, the library here at CU's Geospatial Data Portal. So um, this is a really handy place to go to if you're looking for like data for the state of Colorado. It's statewide in scope. Um, and I'm just going to quickly show you what you can find here. So um, if you, you can take a look at some of the subject headings down here and some of the place names and all that. I usually just recommend people start with a search for whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for something like uh, streams or anything like that, you can kind of go here and grab some. This is from the Colorado Department of Transportation. It has a stream layer that we've added here. Um, and when you get to an item level page uh, for a single layer, uh, you get some information about the, the data set right here, where it is, when it was issued. This one's a little older. Um, and then you can also take a, a preview of this here as well. So here's all of the streams in the state. If I zoom in, we can look at, um, see what type of stuff you're going to get here. Uh, if you click on a stream, it will tell you. Uh, so what I clicked on was Clear Creek. Uh, you get some information about it. Uh, so you can view the attributes uh, before you download. And, and that's it. It's pretty easy. All you have to do then is click Download Shapefile, and you're good to go. So other types of things you might find in here. Uh, we have other um, water-related data sets, so uh, like watersheds. You can go and find watersheds in the state. Um, there's a lot of things like um, irrigation uh, sources in here. So if you're looking for um, stuff like that, and like if you're doing a project on like water use in the state, you can go and find things like um, canals and ditches. Or there's a, also a lot of uh, like oil and gas layers in here. So if you just search like oil, you'll start to find some of these things. Uh, so oil and gas locations in Colorado, um, fields, so horizontal field boundaries, and things like that, Wattenberg gas field, so we can take a look at this and see things like all the oil and gas locations in the state. So these would be like wells and things like that. Okay. Uh, other things you might find here would be um, uh, we have building layers uh, by county. So you can go and see uh, if you want to look at, say, uh, oh, I don't know, Broomfield County buildings. We can see all the buildings in Broomfield County. Okay, so there they all are. You can go and download them and do what you want with them. Uh, we also have a lot of wildlife layers in here. So if you're doing something uh, involving, oh, something like uh, animal habitats or something like that, you can go and see what we have in here if you want to look for like eagles. So we have like bald eagle nest sites or nesting areas and things like that. And you can kind of find stuff that way. So I definitely recommend searching through here if you are looking for Colorado data, data that's just Colorado in scope, I would say this would be my number one starting place for that. Okay, now let's talk about some Boulder sources. So usually when you're looking for local data, you can find things both from a county geospatial data uh, depot or also like a city or municipality level. Um, I'm going to pop into both of these really quick. So let's take a look at Boulder County's geospatial open data site. And uh, usually they look like this. Um, this is really common. And um, you can just run a search for, for whatever you're looking for, things like, I don't know, trails, and, and start to find things. Um, it's all pretty straightforward. Sometimes, usually these boxes up here are just uh, the extent of, of different different layers that, that we can find in here. Um, 
and then you get usually some sort of little preview box up here. Uh, the main thing to, to think about when you're doing this is just to take a quick look at, at, the, at the description and some of the attributes to make sure that it's going to have the data that you need in here. And then, you know, you can take a look at some of the related data sets from the search result page as well to see which ones might be the ones that you need. Um, and then, you know, usually there's a download link shapefile um, is the way to go. So these are all pretty straightforward to use. Now let's take a look at City of Boulder's open data portal. Similar sort of interface. Um, you can search for something like parks and see if we can find things like open space mountain parks or, or just regular city parks and things like that. Uh, and, and you can kind of get a hint of the type of things you'll find in, in city portals uh, looking at these. Um, lakes and reservoirs, creeks and ditches, and things like that. Uh, usually they're just things related to management of the city. Here is the open space mountain parks, OSNP lands. We can take a quick look at this. And um, Boulder County is a little bit different. You have to click a second link to make it to their GIS portal. And you'll see it looks very similar to the Boulder County site. Same sort of interface gives us a preview that you can look at of all the different parks and then a description and a download link. And finally, I'll just note that um, the city of Denver has a lot of good stuff too. Uh, very similar sort of interface. Um, you can search for different things, um, city topics, all the same sort of stuff. Um, usually just look for a shapefile download link. Um, if you're interested in things from around the Front Range area, this is Dr. Cog. Uh, Dr. Cog is the Denver Regional Council of Government. Uh, they have a really great regional data catalog too that contains um, local data for various municipalities and counties around the Denver area. So if you're interested in things from like uh, some of the different towns around here, this would be a good place to start. It, it, if you're, I mean, this you can find things from, from Boulder and Denver, um, all the different kind of local counties in here as well. Um, and they have a lot of stuff by theme, and I will note that they also have some really great imagery uh, for, for local, for around the Front Range, for Denver in particular. Okay. Um, second uh, source for Colorado data would be Open Colorado. Um, it's also municipal data for around uh, the state. Um, it's a little bit hit or miss. You can find you know, usually like some of the bigger towns and cities have stuff in here. You can see City of Boulder in here. Dr. Cog is in here as well. Um, and then, you know, other counties or cities are in here as well. But it, the, the coverage in here depends on which uh, counties or cities submit things to this site. So not it's not full coverage across the state, but it's still pretty good. Okay, so that's a wrap for this video. You know, the same sort of ideas apply if you're looking for other towns, like say if you're looking for like, I don't know, Portland, Oregon. Uh, I would go about a search like that looking for like the, the county, uh, whatever county it is that you're looking for, just Google it and GIS data or the city GIS data that you're looking for. And you can usually find their GIS data site. Okay, so that's all for this video. Um, definitely hit me up if you have any questions. Um, philip.white at colorado.edu.